Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for clicking on this video. Before we get into the high flying grouse action, I thought I'd share with you one of my favorite healthy grouse recipes. It's super simple. Whenever I cook it, people seem to love it. And uh, yeah, so first all I do is start out with some onions, some peppers, and I already have the grouse all cut up into tiny little chunks. So you chop up the onions, And then the peppers. And then you fry them both up. I usually fry them up separately because I'm not good at guessing how they both would be done, get done at the same time. Um, I usually put a little less oil in the peppers because they seem to create quite a bit of oil and you don't want it to be too greasy. So here we go. to the point where you think that it would look good if it was cooked for about another five minutes but you still think it'd be pretty tasty if you ate it right now that's when I combine all the ingredients the peppers in there put the grouse in there and then I always hit it with some Lowry's right now too and cook it until it's done There you go, there's grouse stir fry. You can put it on some rice or some noodles if you're feeling really feisty, add some soy sauce. Uh, thanks for watching. Now to the below average video and audio quality, but well above average, setter action. Oh my God. Maya. Hey, my bird. Good girl. The old brown phaser. Good girl, Maya. Birds everywhere in here. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Wow. Is there any more? Fifty-nine, gray guys. Oh, I should have totally had sixty there. 
Look at this highway of wolf trap. That is a tree. Birds around here. Maya. Oh. Oh. Oh, there it is, guys. Gangal. 60. Nice brown. Well, oh, two more of them flushed up in here, so. We'll see if there's any more. That's another covey of probably about six or seven. I don't know. Birds everywhere. Come on. Okay, come on. Come here. Maya. Come here. Come on. Good girl.